We are Team Graphene, number 7321. We are one of the three teams in the Tarkin Robotics program. We are competing in the 2014-2015 FTC Cascade Effect game, and it is our second year in FTC. We did well our first year winning both our regular season matches. We went on to our state competition and we were alternates for regionals. To spread the word about robotics and our robotics team's success, we use our school's television broadcasting network and we like to show younger kids the fun experience of robotics and hope to recruit new members for our robotics program in the future. When we work within our team on our robot, we keep ourselves going by discussing and debating what designs will work and what won't by using constructive criticism. This allows us to pick the best builds for our robot's tasks. We keep a journal of all the changes we make and the events we go to. In our team, we rely heavily on communication with everyone on our team. We communicate with the allied teams as well to think up strategies, hear everyone's opinions, and acquire information so we can get the best advantage with our alliance. Before we constructed our robot, we used a whiteboard to brainstorm and get a general idea of how our robot would work and its main features to help be more efficient in its tasks. We went through many different ideas to obtain balls, such as a vertical conveyor to a collection tube mounted on a cascade lift. Our robot has been redesigned many times because we keep trying to improve its efficiency. We build our robot to be most effective with scoring balls with our double-sided lift. Our intake design allows us to take advantage of random balls even if the balls are in the corner. The paddles will collect them and store them or at least shuffle them around with the horizontal sweepers. Our main strategy for the competition is to get as many balls in the tubes while moving the bases of the tubes onto the ramps. Also during endgame, we should be able to fill the middle basket completely for the most points. We plan to have an autonomous code for every situation and it will require many hours of programming and troubleshooting. Our robotics project was funded by FPNL, CLEF, and we are still using the sponsors we gained from last year. We held a booth at our local block party and raised money by selling cotton candy. We also participated in the stadium cleanup 